As the boys are back in town again. Spread the word around. Let's see what the boys be wearing today. Police shelter. What do they do? Taking stray cops off the street until another precinct adopts them? <laughs> hey, he didn't use a turn signal. I'm Lieutenant Williams, a police officer Hank Williams? attached to the juvenile division. Tennessee I'm Williams? I'm on my way to Monroe Junior High School. Tree Williams? A group of young people. I'm also a sexual predator. It looks innocent enough, doesn't it? Lots of young people hitchhike. Seems like a Do good they? way to get from one place <laughs> to another. But sometimes there are dangers involved that never meet the eye. Like Rutger Hauer. Let's take the case of Jimmy Barnes. But in serial killer. All afternoon. <laughs> He didn't My feel first like walking victim. home, so he decided to thumb a ride. <laughs> thumb a what? <laughs> He'd done it a hundred times before, and he didn't think anything was unusual when the driver struck up a friendly conversation. Ever see a grown man naked, Jimmy? <laughs> Do you want to? He asked Jimmy if he played baseball in the park often. Jimmy told him they practiced three times a week and played a rival group on Friday afternoon. The stranger was a good listener, too, and it only seemed minutes before And he also know where Jimmy lived without needing directions. <laughs> when Jimmy got out, the stranger gave him a friendly pat. Hunter S. <laughs> Thompson? Uh, uh, kind of like Dr. Phil. <laughs> See you later, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor kid can't afford a baseball. Hey, do, <laughs> which side do I drive this on? Come on in and hop in, Jimmy. We'll talk about your teenage angst. Mind if I put my hand in your lap? <laughs> <laughs> you think he drives a stick? He stopped at a drive-in and a stranger treated him to a Coke. It was the finest blow Jimmy had ever snorted. <laughs> but Jimmy had heard others before and, well, it made him feel big to so easily win the contest. Hey Jimmy, why was the guitar teacher arrested? For fingering A minor. I love the feel of a rod in my hand. On Saturday, they went fishing together. Fishing for compliments. They were using first names. Ralph said it was more friendly. <laughs> Here, let's use these pictures of your bomb as bait. <laughs> Jimmy hadn't enjoyed himself so much in a long time. Then during lunch, Ralph showed him some pornographic pictures. And Ralph instantly became Jimmy's hero. He was curious. What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph was sick. A sickness that was not visible like oh. smallpox. Oh, like bipolar disorder? Dangerous and contagious. Paranoia? Sickness of the mind. Schizophrenia? You see, Ralph was a homosexual. Oh! Wait, what? An intimate relationship with members of their own sex. <laughs> also known as bromancing. Now they're hunting heterosexuals. <laughs> There's Ralph. one there! They continued to go places <laughs> together. Ralph was generous and took Jimmy many interesting places and did many nice things for him. Like giving Jimmy a mulligan on this par three hole. He bought presents and <laughs> even gave him money. But payments were expected. It turns out Ralph is just Jimmy's see, Jimmy natural father like trying to Ralph reconnect with him. <laughs> when Ralph twist. first asked Jimmy to go fishing alone, he should have discussed it with his parents or teacher. Why and they would have immediately approved. Why does Ralph need parental consent? <laughs> Finally, Jimmy told his parents, oh. <laughs> and they reported it to the juvenile authorities. Ralph was arrested, and Jimmy was released on... Ralph was arrested for improving Jimmy's parents. sense of style. <laughs> but all homosexuals are not passive. Some resort to violence, as in the case of Mike Merrick. Here's Mike now, being extremely violent. In the heat of competition, no one noticed the man who sat and watched. <laughs> and when the game broke up, <laughs> oh when the others left, Mike decided to stay and practice a little longer. And that's when the bellhop arrived. 
My ball skills are fabulous. He was friendly and white men can hop. Playing alone. He should have known he was gay, by the way. He's throwing the ball. I know a bow tie shop this way. It's okay. I work third shift at the mortuary. Biff Cannon. Yeah, right? Remember, all homosexuals wear bow ties. When they finished, the stranger told him he'd make a fine player someday if he got lots of practice. Well, we gotta go. It's time for duck and cover practice. The, praise, <laughs> the friendly attitude dispelled any misgivings Mike might have had about going with a stranger. He probably never realized until too late that he was riding in the shadow of death. But sometimes Except it was actually the Grim Mike Raper. Created his life oh, gosh. His paper headline. Well, wait, what happened? Who killed him? Nope. Not the nice man there, right? <laughs> extra, extra, read all about it. Homosexual gives kid right home and nothing happens. They only casually noticed the two boys that raced by. We stole these bikes! <laughs> and they didn't pay much attention to the car that drew up shortly afterwards until the man called them over. <laughs> Obviously, they were the prey that was moving too fast. <laughs> Excuse me, boys. Uh, either one of you wanted up in a milk carton someday? Could they recognize him if they saw them again? Well, then he guessed he could. Then hop in, the man said. Those are stolen bikes. All right, you are hereby deputized by the shelter police. Jerry watched. He'd been told many times, if a friend got in a car with a stranger to write down the license number, it didn't seem to apply, but, well, fortunately, he marked it down. When he delivered a paper to Denny's house, he asked his mother if they'd caught the boys that had stolen the bicycles. Oh, she's Denny hadn't over watering her, so he told her the story and gave her the paper with the light. Still watering them. She then showed vague signs of interest <laughs> and slowly walked into the house. Careful parent, she decided to call the police. Jerry's no one got a newspaper that day. day. Well, look, it's Ponch and John to the rescue. <laughs> was a good example of how important it is to always get the license number and description of any stranger who takes a. Sir, you're under arrest for driving into a dead end on a windy day. <laughs> we got wind of you. Oh, I see what you did there. Public restrooms can often be a hangout for the homosexual. Bobby and his friends <laughs> and sometimes had Motley Crew had been in the restroom when they changed, and as it was lady suggested they take the shortcut under the pier, but the others preferred to take the more traveled way home. The straight way home. <laughs> this guy have drums in his shoes. <laughs> this is CNN. If it wasn't for those drummy shoes, the kid would have never noticed yeah. him. Oh no. Not Bobby again. Recognized the stranger as the man in the rest and while he's watching that homo, the, the real attack will come like from the other idea. two homos on the sides. <laughs> After all, it's more fun to stay with your friends anyway. Bobby had made a wise decision. Bobby invested in IBM. <laughs> The decision is always yours, and your whole future may depend on making the right one. So no matter where you meet a stranger, be careful if they are too friendly, if they try to win your confidence too quickly, and if they become overly personal. One never knows when the homosexual is about. He may appear normal, and it may be So if something stops working in your house, Ill, turn on all the lights and check around, and so you might just have a homosexual. <laughs> Unless you have the permission of your parent or teacher. Remember, children, if someone is nice, they're probably gay. <laughs> this brought to you by the Republican Party of the United States. <laughs>